Thank you to all the students and thank you to the teachers for inviting us, Junior Achievement, to your classroom. My name is Natalia. I'm currently working as a consultant at Deloitte. What I do in my day-to-day -day job is to consult companies and organizations in human resources. So what we do is we present recommendations and help them better understand their own human resources processes like training, hiring, performance, all of those type of topics and we help them become better at it. I'm very excited that you're here with me today and talking about uh, your budget and today we're going to be talking about paychecks. Yes, today is your payday and we're going to be talking about your income and what your paycheck is going to be like. Now we have done our budgets, everyone understands their own expenses, fixed expenses, variable expenses, now we're ready to get paid. So our pay is that uh, income that comes to you every month or every two weeks depending on your working up. So this is the money that you earn from one job to jobs if you have different activities on the side that you earn money for. All of that accounts for your total income. So for this program, uh, for today, you are going to receive a card that will contain your pay. And that pay is going to help us balance what we just created in that budget expense list. You're going to see in the card that you have your gross pay and your net pay. Okay, so we have gross pay and net pay. Gross pay is the full amount of all the activities that we mentioned before. So if you are diff doing different activities or you have different jobs or you have only one job, that's okay. That's your source of income. And your gross pay, it's all of that adding, added up without taking anything out of it without any deductions from the government, nothing. It's just that gross pay all together. So all of that is part of your gross pay, that is the full uh, amount. Now, we talk about deductions, and deductions or government deductions, it's um, mandatory deductions that automatically come out of your paycheck every month or every two weeks. The deductions, there are different types of deductions, but what you will so all we see are the deductions related to pension, deductions related to employment insurance, and deductions related to government and federal tax. So for example, your pension uh, deductions are the one related to when you're ready to retire, the government will give back a portion of that money that you pay before. Or if you're talking about employment insurance, that money would be a portion of the money that you pay would be returned to you if you lose your job or if by any reason you are not able to go back into the workforce. After we have all of those deductions taken off of your pay, we have what we call net pay. So net pay is that gross pay minus the deductions that equals the net pay. So your net pay is what is going to come to you. So that is going to be what your employer or whoever is paying you is going to give to you is the net pay. The net pay is usually what is given to you and that's what we're going to use to balance your um, own worksheet in your budget. Now the net pay it's always how it is calculated and the reason why we do that as I mentioned before are those deductions that are for the government. It could be the federal government and the provincial government. And that is very important to cover in different uh, aspects of the city. So for example, roads, police, uh, education, healthcare system. All of these deductions are towards that part of, for example, if you live in a city and you're looking, they have a police department, they have roads, there are schools, there are hospitals, there are doctors and nurses. All of that accounts for that is your contribution to your city, to the place that you live on. So when we talk about those deductions, those deductions need to be there in order to function in for the city that you live on to properly function. So keep that in mind when you look at those deductions. The deductions are based on a different percentage and those percentages are going to change as you move into your career or based on the amount of money that you're making or the income that you're receiving and that's completely normal and that's something that it always going to be in your paycheck so you have a clear understanding of how much it is and what is the exact amount that is going towards the city and the, what is going towards your pension plan and the insurance employment insurance 
Okay, so in a moment, we're gonna open a worksheet and we're gonna go to the page of the workbook to record your monthly pay. Your monthly pay is in the card that was provided to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna subtract our expenses from our income or from our net pay. So we need to understand and see how much money we have left. We already have our list of expenses. Now we have our income. We're gonna subtract the expenses from the income and whatever is left, that is what is uh, left to you. If you get a negative number because your expenses are higher than your income, then we need to probably revisit our budget and make a few changes to our expenses to make sure that it's balanced because we don't want to spend more money than we are earning. So if you look at your expenses and if you look at the final result after subtracting that, um, your income to your expenses, and if it's a negative number, make sure we're adjusting your expenses. So we'll come back to all of that expenses that you think you can adjust. Do you still need to buy a car instead of renting, uh, instead of um, just using the public transportation? Do you need to buy a brand new house instead of renting an apartment for a few years? So go to your expenses and make the modifications that you need to make in order to adjust it. And once you subtract again, your revised expenses and your income, it should be a positive number and that's the number that will be left to you. And that's how we create the budget, based on your expenses and your income. Okay, so that was a really great activity on budgeting. Remember to make the adjustments and balance your budget. This is very key for you and understanding those expenses, understanding how your income works is gonna be very helpful for any situation, especially if you move away from home. Thank you everyone for having me today in your classroom and thank you for having Junior Achievement in your classroom. Junior Achievement also has additional programming that you can find uh, online. It's free of charge for students and it's through the Junior Achievement Digital Campus. Their website is jacampus.org. Thank you.